Hi everybody and welcome to Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom and today we have a special guest who as soon as you see this frame, this image, you will know Sam Bellier is in the house. Today we're going to do, as we've promised, we're going to finalise our working firmer techniques um, but working safely and I'm going to show you a finger-free technique and we're going to show a, te a reflex that very often is sadly left off the charts, but should really, really, really be there because it's a major stress reflex. It is our trapezius. Now, when I put this uh, together with finger-free reflexology, I'm thinking, how can I mimic a massage to the trapezius? I'm thinking there's just no way we can pick up the reflex points like a Swedish massage would do in reflexology. So I went to Japanese massage where they will press down on the skeleton and squash the muscle between therapist and client. So we're going to mimic that now on the feet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to first orientate ourselves on the foot because a lot of foot charts don't show where the trapezius reflex is. Hopefully we're all agreed that the shoulder reflex is located underneath the little toe, so it's this area just here. Hopefully we're also all agreed that the neck reflex is at the base of the big toe. It basically goes all around the base of the big toe. So therefore, if we were to join our shoulder up to our neck, and we would be looking for a ridge that's muscular, then this area here that some people think of as the ear and eye reflex would be where our trapezius is. So it mimics exactly where my shoulder is to my neck, and we've got this muscular ridge just here. That's where our trapezius is going to be. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're doing a bird's eye view, just as if you were the therapist. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this knuckle. Hopefully you've all got a nice little protruding knuckle on your, on your long finger. And we're just going to hold the foot and we're going to push straight down. Straight down. Remembering how it was that I was squeezing down on Sam's trapezius. And we're going to do exactly the same principle with this knuckle, just pushing straight down. The straighter you are, the further right above this reflex, the better it is. And don't just go, oh, 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 like that. I want you to actually sink straight down and hold it straight down. Allow that muscle in the foot to relax underneath the pressure just as the trapezius would relax underneath the pressure. This is not to be rushed, this one. Oh, and by the way, no cream. If you put anything slippy on here, you're just going to slip right off. Okay, let's do a different angle. Just push in. Push in. In. No rush, lovely positive pressure. And remember that with uh, what we talked about before with the Jubilee mantra positive pressure, not pull away pain. So it should never be where you can see the whites of your client's eyes when they're going <gasps> like that. It should just be a lovely, gentle pressure. So that was finger free reflexology on the trapezius. So that's your weekly dose of Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. And as a teaser for next week, we've got something very special from Sam. So you've all heard of Joe Shelby Riley and Dr. William Fitzgerald, but what you might not know is that his book is now available and I will teach you where to find it in next week's episode. So that's Wednesday's Reflexology Wisdom. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. See you next week.